Good morning. This is Simi, the Samoan scientist, coming at you from my folly. Just wanted to show you, I just got back from the Asian market and um, went to buy my dog food uh, at the Asian market. And I spent $70. And I also got me some human food. So I probably spent about $60-ish on dog food. And my dogs eat raw meat. So, this is what I'm going to show you. For 49 cents a pound, they had drumsticks at the Asian market on special. So I got 30 pounds. Then they had these neck bones. And they were going for a buck 49. And I got 15 pounds of that pork neck bone. Then I did uh, because you gotta you know give them variety, give them variety. Then I got some blue mackerel for them, and I got about 15 pounds of that at a buck 29 a pound. Check these out; they're good size too, good size fish, big ones. Not sardines; it's mackerel. So now I'm gonna set you down. And you can watch what I do because it's for my dogs that are waiting for their meal right here. Especially this guy. Got Bugsy, Coco, Keisha, and Kolu. So I'm going to show you what I do here. So I'm going to chop this stuff up right here. And then uh, show you how they eat it. Let me get the wood uh, so I can cut it up. <clears throat> right here and uh, there was some leftover rice I normally don't give them anything like that I just give them the raw meat but I don't want this to go to waste so I'm gonna give them rice as well so I'm gonna put that in right now give me some rice see it was a couple days old family made it I guess they didn't want it all so We'll give it to these guys. They'll eat it today. And this is uh, jasmine rice. There. So get that. The rest will go because they get fed twice a day. So, sorry about the off screen. But I'll keep talking so you can hear I'm here. Off screen and then uh, put the jasmine rice. And then, uh, let's see how they did. The neck bones have done pretty good. I told them to cut them up small, so uh, drop one right there. There we go. Boom. See if we can get some pieces in here. I don't have to cut up so much. Here we go. So we got this. See? Yeah, they're going to love it. I had them cut it up so we don't have to worry so much about the bones. These guys choking from being so excited on eating that they don't chew it up properly. So go here. The only one who usually chews up pretty good is Keisha. Got that pit bull, so I didn't get my knife. Gotta get that cleaver out there, you know, do some cutting. Get things done. Got to cut it up for Kolu. Right there. Boom. Some good sized chunks. This one. Let's see if we can find another one in here. Doesn't need so much cutting. These guys could do it. Okay. Bam. Cut it up. Boosh, boosh. The Coco needs hers cut. Because she doesn't try to swallow. She just chew it. Swallow, I mean, she don't try to chew, she just swallows it. So I gotta cut it up a little bit for her. Bam. Let's see. Bugsy should be okay. He's pretty good with small bone. Right there. Bam. See? Okay, there's that. Then we got the drumsticks. Bam. So, I'm gonna hack those up here on my cleaver. Bam. Big for the Coco and Keisha. Get this. 
size. They could chew that up. Break that or no. Bam. Doosh. Here we go. Cut those. Up. Bam. Miss Coco. We got Bugsy here. And Kolu. Get another one. This will be for Bugsy. I cut it up smaller for him because he got a small. He got a small air hole through his uh, his throat. Being an English bulldog, they don't have too good of you know all that stuff that goes on with chewing and eating. So we'll go like this for Bugsy. Bam, 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 and then. Last but not least, we got the fish. Let's turn this thing upside down. Get a couple mackles in there. There you go. They're going to like that. Heading head on. See if they if they do it that. Bam. Who else gonna get? It? Hey! Knock it off. Get a little excited. Someone out there running around. Get Coco all excited. So, bam. Get these fishies in here. Fish, go in here, bam. Okay, that's a little bit of everything. Mix it up a little there, bam, 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 wash my hands. So you guys can see what's going on. I know you can hear me, but you can't see me, but you gotta watch this. And in the boring parts, you guys could always skip forward, you know? So again, we got salmon, chicken, pork. And this is what it's gonna look like. See that? This is what they get. And see, that's uh, 30 and 30. That's 60 pounds of raw food for these guys the last two to three weeks preferably around three weeks um and it only cost me 60 bucks when i used to pay 65 to 70 dollars uh adding the tax and exiting uh with a kibble and that was only uh 24 to 30 pounds depending on how how good the quality so they say it is and the quality is all right here with these guys time to eat Let's go. Sit down. Here we go. Now we put these down there and you watch the control that they have. Okay, so here we go. Let's go Coco's bowl first. Shh. Coco. Shh. Sit. Sit. Keisha. No. Sit. Shh. Keisha. Uh uh, Bugsy. They all know their role. They know where to sit. They know where they're going to eat. Sit! Shh! Go, And here we go. We're going to tell them to sit and make them stay and stare at their food for a little bit. And then we'll eat. Go, Sit! So we get them all to sit. Sit nice, sit pretty for a while. Ah! See that? Then you give them the special word and then they'll go to town in their own bowls. They know where to sit, they know where their bowl is. It's just like being at the dinner table. Hey! Sit! Sit! 
Here we go. Are you ready to watch this happen? I'm just going to say the one word. Eat. And that's what we do over here at my house. That's how they eat twice a day. Breakfast, dinner, usually a bit around 9, 10 for breakfast and anywhere around six, not too late, but around six-ish um, for dinner. That's how we do it here. Enjoyed watching, pass it on, let people know that's how they're supposed to eat, not kibble.